Today we'll do a paella again. Start with the inner ring. Just a heavy heat in the middle. Put the pan on there. Some olive oil, quite a lot of olive oil in the middle. Heat that up for a while. Spread some salt. On the rim around it, that will be soaked up later anyway. Then we we'll wait a minute before the oil is oil is hotting up. So let's get the meat in. We have chicken, only chicken today. It's a half chicken cut up by the butcher. Quite big pieces. So that the pattern is going to move around a little bit. And then let it fry in the oil for about 15 minutes. Put a nice color, add a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle some salt on them. Now we put in the packaging. And the green beans. And do it like that for about six minutes. Yeah. The beans have been in for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna put some tomato puree, uh, about 200 grams, not too much. Just a little bit, get a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. Stir that around for a little bit. Uh, now we have a tricky part where we need some um, saffron and, and we need some red paprika powder and colorant. So here's the saffron, put it in one corner first, mix it up with some oil. And then we yeah, just try to blend it in. When it boils later, it will all blend in anyway. Then we have the paprika powder. It's a little bit smoky, but not spicy. And uh, we'll take about a teaspoon of that. I like the paprika powder a tiny bit more so it's a sweet but a little bit smoky it's very nice now you can't let that burn because then it's going to be disgusting so we'll add the colorant and then the water this the colorant, it's a little bit salty as well. Uh, I quite a bit of this. Alright, so now quite a bit of water actually. So start with this. It's not gonna be enough. It's around one and a half liter of water. Now this needs to boil up and simmer for mm, 25 minutes. So I'm gonna also lighten the outer ring to get a more even heat. So now it's just to wait and let it simmer. I stir it once in a while, uh, taste it, Let's see if I need more of a paprika or salt usually you need a bit of more salt before putting the rice in this is my favorite part look at that looks beautiful so i've just cut a twig of rosemary out of the garden put that in for 
five, six minutes. That's enough for my taste. Let's try it after a few minutes and see how it is. Uh, it feels very strong at first when you try, but it blends out. So it's been going there for about 15 minutes. So I'll leave it for another 10. Then we're gonna need more water before we have the rice. But as you can see how water is going down, it means to have it up here somewhere when we add the rice. I've added some more paprika and some more salt as well twice because it needs quite a lot of salt for the rice later as well. You mm, can already taste the rosemary. All right, so another 10 minutes. Look how beautiful is this. It's been cooking for about 25 minutes, so it's about done. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm gonna fill up some more water to get somewhere up here. And then I will add the rice. The rice is a round corn rice. Of course, I have the Aroth Valencia. Uh, so it's grown here in Valencia. Um, I'll add about half a kilo of rice. First, we'll just add the water. That should be about it. And now the rice, I just spread it around. That's all over the place. Now it's gonna need another about 20 minutes, I think. Um, might be that I need to add some water at some point. I'm trying to rinse the rice off a piece of chicken here. Get blend it in. Right, so another, yeah, about 20 minutes. So we're getting there. Today I'm not gonna need any more water. Um, the rice is almost done. I'll give it another few minutes and then I'll turn up the heat to get a little bit of crust on the rice in the bottom. I need to dry up a little bit more first. So it's dried up quite a lot. So I'll turn up the heat. Kind of gonna burn it in the bottom. And it might even smell a little bit burnt, but that's on purpose. It's burning now. I will go and cut two twigs of rosemary and put on top as decoration. It actually smells a bit burnt, but I think that's okay. Put the twigs on, wait five minutes um, to let it dry up a little bit, and then it's time to be served.